In the world of cars, Toyota is dropping some serious news that's got the whole electric vehicle scene hyped up. Imagine this. An engine so next level that even the hardcore car buffs on YouTube are losing their minds and feeling juiced up. Today, we're going to dig deep into Toyota's brand new engine that's about to shake up the EV game. So hold on to your seats, because driving's about to get a whole lot crazier. Toyota stands out from the pack, marching to the beat of its own drum rather than blending in with the crowd like other companies. They ain't chasing trends, they're setting them. Their goal? To be the OG trendsetters in the EV game. And let me tell you, they're all about that innovation life, innovation today, tomorrow, and forever. Back in the 90s when EVs were just a blip on the radar, Toyota dropped a mic with the world's first hybrid electric ride, the Prius, and flipped the script on the car scene. Some experts even think, if it wasn't for the Prius blowing up in the late 90s, Tesla might not have had its moment in the early 2000s. But here's the realty. Toyota wasn't satisfied with just riding the wave of success. Even though America's got heavy hitters like Tesla, Ford, Chevy, and Fiat holding it down, Toyota's still playing the long game as a reliable underdog. In fact, one out of every five off-roaders in the States is a Toyota. But when the Prius hit the streets and got feedback from all corners of the globe, Toyota peeped some serious issues with their hybrid electric game. And these weren't just minor setbacks they could brush off. Nah, we're talking major flaws that needed some serious rethinking. When Toyota dug deep into their EV flagship, the Prius, they uncovered two major issues. First off, while EVs get props for being eco-friendly and emitting zero carbon emissions on the road, the electricity they slurp up at charging stations often comes from dirty sources like coal, diesel, and natural gas. So, technically, even though they're not spewing emissions from their tailpipes, they're still contributing to the pollution party indirectly. And second, let's talk about those batteries. They're mostly made from metals like lithium, cobalt, and nickel, and getting enough of these materials for just one battery takes a whole lot of fossil fuel burning. In fact, Fun fact, by the time an electric car rolls onto the showroom floor, it's already belched out a hefty 13,608 kilograms of carbon dioxide gas during their production process. In the grand scheme of things, Toyota recognized that these flaws were undermining the core purpose of EVs. They were burning through precarious resources just for the sake of convenience. So, instead of pushing forward with electric vehicles, they decided to take a step back and focus on enhancing traditional combustion engine cars. They kicked things off by rethinking their choice of fuel. You see, Toyota understood from the get-go that the type of fuel you use matters more than the engine itself. It's all about the chemical bonds in the fuel, how easily they break to release energy and how many of them end up as harmful carbon pollutants. Taking all these factors into account is key. Alright folks, let's talk a little science here. You probably know that when it comes to bonding, carbon is a champ, right? I mean, it can make all kinds of bonds. So whether you're burning ethanol, kerosene, or a CNG, you're going to get some carbon dioxide out of it. Now, here's the kicker. What if we switch things up and use hydrogen, H2? See, hydrogen molecules are tiny, so you can cram a bunch of them into a fuel tank. So here's the deal. Toyota just dropped a bombshell in the automotive world. Instead of jumping on the all-electric bandwagon like everyone else, they've unveiled a new hydrogen combustion engine. Yeah, you heard that right. This bad boy runs on hydrogen. And guess what? The only thing that comes out of that tailpipe is water. Talk about clean, huh? It's like they're flipping the script on how we think about eco-friendly cars. This move is part of Toyota's bigger plan to go carbon neutral. And this hydrogen engine is a big piece of the puzzle. And get this, Toyota's already testing out their Corolla Cross H2 concept in the real world. Plus, the Japanese government's got big plans too. They're aiming to have 200,000 fuel cell powered rides on the streets by 2025 and a whopping 800,000 by 2030. And they're beefing up the refueling station game across the country. It's like the future's knocking on our door and Toyota's leading the charge. Alright, let's now talk about hydrogen. This stuff's everywhere, like seriously. It's the most abundant element in the whole universe. Plus, it packs a serious punch when it comes to energy density, beating out pretty much any other power source out there that's not nuclear. The best part? It's totally clean. No exhaust, no toxic fumes. And get this, you can make it from all sorts of stuff, store it forever, and ship it around without much hassle. People are already using tons of hydrogen every year without any problems. It's powering up buildings, electric cars, forklifts, ships, you name it. Hydrogen's the real deal. Toyota's innovative hydrogen combustion engine relies on a fuel cell to convert hydrogen into electricity, powering vehicles like the Corolla Cross H2 concept car. 
This cutting edge system features a 1.6 liter turbocharged three cylinder engine fueled by hydrogen, stored in robust armored tanks inspired by Toyota's Mirai FCEV technology. Unlike traditional engines or EVs, Toyota's engine operates on a principle akin to the HHO generator, but is uniquely tailored for vehicular use. Remarkably, just 5 kilograms of hydrogen can propel the car up to 300 miles, emitting only water in the process. Collaborating with Yamaha Motor, Toyota has developed a powerful hydrogen-fueled V8 engine generating 455 horsepower and 398 pound-feet of torque, complete with a distinctive high-frequency sound thanks to its unique 8-into-1 top-mounted exhaust manifold. The Toyota hydrogen combustion engine offers several advantages over electric vehicles. One major benefit is its extended range and quick refueling time, comparable to a drag race. Additionally, it diminishes the reliance on scarce materials like lithium and nickel, crucial for EV battery production. Despite having a battery, it's notably smaller than that of an EV. Currently, the Corolla Cross H2 concept car is undergoing real-world testing in northern Japan, including evaluations and winter road conditions. Moreover, the hydrogen refueling process is secure and easy. Refueling stations generate hydrogen on site through electrolysis utilizing 100% renewable surplus energy. These stations are contained within containers and only need water and power to function. Power is obtained from green tariffs or directly sourced from solar or wind energy on site. In general, Toyota's latest hydrogen combustion engine marks a significant advancement in the automotive industry. It's eco-friendly, offers longer driving ranges, quicker refueling times, and reduces reliance on limited supply materials. With real-world testing already in progress, it won't be long before these vehicles hit the streets. The Japanese government aims to have 200,000 fuel cell-powered vehicles on the road by 2025 and 800,000 by 2030, with additional refueling stations planned nationwide. Toyota's innovative hydrogen engine emits minimal CO2 and far fewer harmful gases compared to traditional gasoline cars. The company has also enhanced safety features by reinforcing connecting rods, strengthening valves, and valve seats, and introducing gas-based fuel injectors. Toyota's latest hydrogen combustion engine offers several advantages, such as increased driving ranges, quicker refueling times, and a commitment to environmental sustainability. Despite Toyota's confidence, it's improbable that hydrogen-powered engines will completely overshadow the EV industry. Each technology has its own pros and cons. The automotive sector is clearly shifting towards sustainable transportation methods. In the coming years, we can anticipate a positive environmental impact. As consumers, it's important for us to understand the array of options available. The future of sustainable transportation will likely incorporate a mix of available technologies, including hydrogen-powered engines. EVs, and other alternative fuel sources. With ongoing advancements in the automotive industry, we can expect a more sustainable future in the near term. Well folks, that's a wrap for today's video. So what do you think about Toyota's latest engine technology? We're all ears, so drop your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed the video, don't be shy, give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to catch all our future updates. Thanks a bunch for joining us, and until we meet again, stay chill.